This will be a two-part video, including the installation of the Vendors Exchange UCB and the added Guaranteed Product Delivery or Drop Sensor attachment. For the first part, you will need a Phillips screwdriver. You will also need a half-inch nut driver and an 11 32nd inch nut driver. Included in the kit are the main control board assembly, which includes the universal control board, the power supply, the MDB harness, a 110 volt power supply, the DEX harness, the 24 volt power cable, and the display harness. Also included are the clear display lens, the display board, an FCC label, a programming and instruction label, and a keypad label. Before you start, remember to turn off and unplug the vending machine. Unplug the 110 volt validator harness going to the machine, and if necessary, unplug the CoinMech harness as well. Locate and remove the hex nuts from the bill validator. This machine required an 11 32nd inch nut driver. Put the nuts in a secure location and remove the bill validator. On your old control board, you will want to disconnect all attachments, including the door switch harness, the coin mech harness, the power harness, the motor harness, the validator cable, and the display cable. Then remove the old control board. Use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the four screws from the back of the display board. Then remove the hex nuts from the back of the lens holder. This machine requires a one half inch nut driver to do so. Put the nuts in a secure location and slide the old lens out of the machine. Make sure to remove the plastic coating from both sides of the new display lens. Insert the new display lens and replace the one half inch nuts. Position the new display board as shown and attach it to the machine using the screws you removed from the old display board. Plug in the interface harness to the new display board. At this point, go ahead and mount the universal control board using the plastic pegs provided on the machine. Connect the display harness to the display board. On the universal control board, connect the 110 volt power cable, the motor cable, the coin mech harness, the 24 volt power harness, and the door switch harness. You can now reattach the bill validator. If you are planning to also install the drop sensor, then it is recommended that you wait until after to reattach the validator. Finally, plug the UCB harness into the fan plug outlet. This completes the installation of the regeneration UCB for an AP113. For the installation of the guaranteed product delivery sensor, you will need a Phillips screwdriver and an 11 32nd inch nut driver. Included in this kit are the sensor and bracket assembly, magnet with two-sided tape, reflective tape, 8 32nd inch hex nut, cable ties and four-way tie mounts, and a 24 volt validator cable. The first step in this installation is to bend up the corner of the bottom deflector closest to the door hinge. Position the sensor bracket into place to make sure it will clear the deflector. Next, remove the caps nuts located on the outside edge of the delivery bucket. This will be replaced by the supplied hex nut. Install the bracket into place. Plug the supplied 4-pin harness into the CN8 of the Universal Control Board. 
there are two different ways to route the wire around to the sensor. In the demonstration, we are wiring it up and over to the sensor, securing it every few feet with the supplied wire ties and four-way tie mounts. Next, you will need to loosen the bottom two glass retaining screws so that you can slip the harness underneath a gap at the bottom of the retainer directly under the deflector. The final result will look like this. Replace the glass retaining screws. Remove the top bracket of the sensor by removing the two nuts on top of it. Plug the harness into the connection closest to the deflector. Remove the plastic coating from the back of the larger reflective strip and position it on the inside of the drop bucket as close as you can to the top back corner of the bucket. Take the adhesive off the small strip and position it directly underneath the sensor attachment inside the drop bucket. You may now plug in the machine and turn it on. Before you remove the backing of the magnet, position it on the inside of the delivery door approximately 1 8 inch from the top and 1 and a quarter inch from the right side. Move your delivery door up and down. If attached correctly, the green LED light on the sensor board should turn on when the delivery door is one half to two thirds open and go off when the delivery door is three quarters closed. Finally, reattach the top of the sensor bar and use the nuts to secure it into place. Congratulations! Your installation of the drop sensor and universal control board are now complete.